In this video we're going to take a quick look at solving a system via substitution when we have fractions involved. So, what I notice is I've already got both equations solved for y. Now those are going to be the same y, so what I can do in this case is just set them equal to each other. So minus 3 fourths x plus 12 equals 1 third x minus 2. Now at this point, maybe I make the decision I don't want to deal with fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the least common denominator of both fractions. So I need to get rid of the 4 and the 3, so the least common denominator would be 12. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. Here's where you got to be a little careful. Remember that 12 distributes to both parts. So I get minus 36 over 4x and then plus 144 equals, now this has to distribute to both parts, 12 over 3x minus 24. Now I've got some reducing I can do, this is just negative 9x plus 144 equals 4x minus 24, and we can now solve for x. So maybe I decide to add the 9x to both sides and add the 24 to both sides. So over here I'm going to have 13x equals 168. So I divide both sides by 13, which does not go very nicely into 168, so I'm going to leave it as 168 over 13. Now I do have to find my y and I can plug it into either equation. So y is going to be equal to one-third times 168 over 13 minus 2. Now this is divisible by 3, so if I take a 3 out of here, I'm going to have 56. So I have 56 over 13 minus, now I need to make this have a denominator of 13, so I remember that little trick of multiplying by 13 over 13, so minus 26 over 13, and I get that my y coordinate is 30 over 13. So my intersection occurs at 168 over 13, comma 30 over 13, and that's the solution to my uh, system. We can check it by graphing with a graphing calculator to make sure we get the same thing.